revolution has begun. <laughs> the revolution will not be televised. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is, is that on? Is that thing on? Yes. Oh, we just podcast All right. So this is a duet. Jack and I were just fooling around the other day, and and uh, and I sent him a poem that was a, a filk of Wallace Stevens, which I'm going to read my version, and then he's going to read his response. Mine is called a high-toned old Christian Wyman. <laughs> Some of you will get this. The others can just read up on it later. Poetry is the supreme magazine, sir. Take the inheritance law and make a knave from it, and let the knave rent high-rise offices. Thus, fortune is converted into poems in a windy city hankering after honor. We agree in principle, that's clear. But take up quantum physics and make a partial style, and from that partial style project a mask of uncertainty. Thus, postmodernism, purged of essence, indulged at last, is equally converted into poems, loitering like limousines. And poem for poem, sir, we are where we began. Allow, therefore, that in the quantum physics scene, your most affected flagellants, well-stuffed, snacking hors d'oeuvres at conference and retreat, Proud of such novelties of the sublime, such drink and drank and drunk and drunk drunk, may, merely may, sir, flip for themselves in jovial hullabaloo among their peers, and this will make people wince. But foundations wink as they will, wink most when people wince. <laughs> First of all, you misspell women, W-I-M-M-E-N. I happen to like Christian women. I've been married to one for 50 years, and I fooled around with a few others before that. Well, okay, one was Jewish, so go ahead and hold that against me. And the next thing I want to take you up on is the money class among the American poetry elites. Somebody's got to have a few bucks, otherwise the whole starving artist class will go down to tubs. I admit they don't take gas very often, but if they didn't have poverty to rant about, where would any of us be? And then the, the quantum physics thing has been there all along. Heidegger didn't invent it. Didn't invent it. He only discovered it. And I didn't wait for him to come along and find it. And it didn't wait for him to come along and find it. It's been operating all along. So what if it's converted into poems? Remember, we won't quit looking like B.S. Eliot says in a hundred years from now, when everyone else catches up to us, postmodern, postmodernistas, you'll see I'm right. And as far as winking and wincing go, don't start off with me about that. Jack McWay! Good thing that I have no jealousy, no ego, no don't care. Thanks for filling in for my lax whatever it is. Yes. Next on our list, always a favorite. Always fun to listen to. I give you Terry Provo! Bush's uh, speech. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you predicted this because I just wrote this today. Exactly. <laughs> and Claire is talking about how I'm going to flip to you. It's like you read our minds. Oh, yeah. Now, I, I, this actually takes some nerve. This, this is going to be hard for me to do, but I'm going for it. Okay, this is actually hard for me to do. No, uh, but this is something I wrote today. You know, uh, David Petra General David Petraeus has been testifying to the Congress tell, talking about the, the surge. And this is what we're all focused on right now with the Great War in Iraq. The Great Bush War in Iraq is the surge in General Petraeus. And this is kind of obvious, but I had to go here. So, so without further ado, here we go. Oh, thanks. General Petraeus, let me know. Should we stay or should we go? Well, I know. If you say the surge is fine, <laughs> we'll be there till the end of time. So you gotta let me know. Do we sell or do we go? <laughs> if 
It's all these IEDs. They're busy blowing off my knees. One day is fine, the next is black. So if you want to steal a wreck, come on and let me know. Should we search or should we go? Yeah. This indecision's killing me. If you want torture, set me free. If you want torture, set me free. Exactly who would supposed to be? Do these electrodes? Oh, yeah. e do these electrodes even fit me? <laughs> Come on and let me know. <laughs> Should we search or should we go now? Should we search or should we go now? Should we search or should we go now? If we, if we, if we leave there will be trouble. And if we stay it will be double. So you gotta let us know. Should we search or should we go? Yeah, you know, you were going to have to plan poetry for a while.